there's a pretty banging ass main event featherweight division ortega rodriguez um before we get into like what's what hangs in the balance with this fight like i just wanted to give you free reign to just talk about the matchup and the stylistic aspects yeah obviously um like ortega's got nice clean boxing um pretty decent footwork i'd say just yaya is just a more versatile striker as well and for mine yaya has spent a lot of time um wrestling with obviously izzy style wrestling he spent years and years working on his craft um of and his takedown defense as well so i don't feel like ortega will have the um like the wrestling chops to drag yaya to the ground as well he's obviously got that like chance of submission as well similar to that in the volko fight you know what i mean um but for mine i just think the 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 striking of yaya will just be too much just the vers versatility in the striking will be a little too much for ortega i feel like if ortega wants to get um get the jump on yaya he really needs to to push the pace because obviously yaya's style like he covers like a lot of distance with his strikes um throws a lot of like spinning attacks jumping attacks and stuff like that it's very high energy it's really hard to keep that output going for 25 minutes so i feel like if ortega is going to get the job done he's going to need to start pressuring yaya and, and pressuring him early you know with ortega right when he came back from that long layoff and 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 cut his hair and and, and fought the korean zombie you know he, he came out with a new different style 2.0 so to say and then for 25 minutes he showed a lot of like his new way of striking and then he fought Volk in this the second one pretty much gave another 20 minutes or so of like how he has evolved as a striker do you feel like those two fights like you can really study those and, and kind of figure out like Yair will be able to figure out like exactly what he can do against uh, uh, Ortega or it, do you feel like Ortega will come out with something new and, and evolve? Yeah, that's the kind of thing. Like you can go back and look at Ortega's career. Like he hasn't made like huge um, adjustments or adaptations in his kind of style or in his game. Like he's not, He's that's why I say like the versatility of Yair. I know he throws like a lot of flashy kicks um and like rolling stuff but that's not what i'm saying when i say like versatile um i say versatility for mine for yair is like he can he can fight going forwards he can fight moving backwards he can fight orthodox he can fight southpaw he can be a kicker he can look to box like he can um he's versatile of so many different aspects of mixed martial arts um so he's a lot more unpredictable like he can chop and change and and put like a game plan together around Brian Ortega whereas Brian Ortega's pretty been pretty consistent he's obviously had some very uh, impressive performances against uh, Korean zombie and the likes and stuff like that but he wasn't that he didn't do anything um we hadn't really seen before he's just very good at what he does and maybe Korean zombie wasn't as versatile enough to to adjust and move away from those but Yair on the other hand I feel like he is I feel like he is versatile enough to chop and change and pick the right tools and he's got the right coaching staff around him to make the right adjustments and bring the right weapons to the table do you think we'll see the the difference in in the striking immediately like in the first round we'll start to see like okay yair is is a couple notches above uh ortega in in the striking department or is it going to take some time to understand the difference um yeah, that'll be different to, to uh, I'm I'm just interested to see how he approaches it, how Yaya comes out and really approaches it, whether he takes some time to find his range or whether he, um, I feel like it comes down to Ortega, like I was saying, uh, I feel like he needs to pressure and he needs to pressure early and that will dictate what Yaya does. Obviously, if um, Ortega comes forward and starts putting the pressure on straight from the first round, then obviously Yaya needs to set some pretty heavy kicks up and needs to stop that forward pressure at some stage. Needs to hit his leg low, needs to distract him with the boxing and land some of those bigger kicks to the forearms and to the body and to the legs just to slow that pressure of Ortega down and give him a reason to back off. But if Ortega, you know, does what he usually does, like starts out loud on his feet, like bouncing, fighting behind his jab, um, then I feel like Yaya can kind of sit back and and spend a little more time um getting his timing down 
So it's in in for mine it's it's up to how Ortega, but I'm saying like Ortega's um what he can bring to the table is just a bit more limited than what Yair brings to the table and his adjustments, like I'm saying, either Ortega, you know, does what he usually does or puts a bit more pressure on. It's not the same as Yair. Like Yair could do uh he has a whole um yeah, a whole hat full of tricks. Do you think the the title shot, the next title shot, right? The next guy that fights Volkanovski for the title could be in this matchup. Do you think if Yair wins, like he could jump over Emmett? Do you think that would be something that could happen possibly? Well, if you hear what happened to Emmett, I read an article what happened to Emmett when he went and watched the UFC and they chuck him in the back corner with um, <laughs> 87 rays back and he could barely even see the thing. You know what I mean? Like he got, yeah, uh, yeah the UFC is not, not um, treating him like the next contender. You know what I mean? Like they had Alex Pereira for for there for Israel. Yeah. They had him cage side, right? And they had a cage. They had a camera on him during the fight with Israel at Asanya. Like that fight, that fight was already set before they mm-hmm. both left the arena. You know what I mean? Volkanovski for as well. Volkanovski's most likely next fight is Emmett. You know what I mean? Did we see Emmett during that fight? Did we mm-hmm. see a snapshot of him? Did we see? Him in the crowd, do we get a sink like a second glimpse? It's like that that Predator fight is obviously being pushed by the UFC and that is taken to the bank. You know what I mean? But you can't say the same for Emmett. You can't say that that hands down, that fight needs to be taken to the bank. I feel like with an impressive performance here from Yair, especially, um, I feel like he's he'd be able to he'd be able to steal that title shot. Yeah, it looks like that, right? Just like, a nice uh, and an an impressive finish and a and a and a strong call out and that's yeah. his that's his fight. That's his fight. Locked he in. gets the next lot of fight. I feel bad for Emmett, man. He's he's earned it. I think he's earned it, right? But just just seems like the promotion when the organization is not backing you to the fullest and like waiting on certain matchups to play out, then you know it's it's it's, it's hard. It's likely not. But if Ortega wins. What does that do for Emmett? That that helps Emmett's right argument, right? His his position. Yeah, I feel like they definitely um, whether they rush through, you know, another fight. You know what I mean? Whether like Volker's obviously, I don't think he can train for the next twelve weeks. Like he's 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 out of training for the next twelve weeks. So that's yeah, that's that's a long time. You know what I mean? Like he's out he's out three months before he can train. Like he's five months off fighting again. It, it's it's um. It's like a possibility that one of these guys win. Like, let's say Ortega wins, that they make Ortega and Emmett fight for a title shot. Like, I can see that. I just, in the in the fashion in which um, Volkanovski beat Ortega, like, I know he had those close submissions, but that was a very dominant performance from Alex. Like, uh, he landed a lot of strikes, and that was a pretty decisive, well, that was as decisive a victory as they... Um, you're possibly capable of. So I don't feel like Ortega's like one fight away from a title or, or potentially even two fights away from a title. I feel like it's um it's a race between Yaya and uh, Emma. 